sincerely uh, thank my families today. And yes, I did use the, the term plural for families. Because, uh, as you know, as soldiers, we have two families. A military family is made up of all the amazing NCOs, officers, and warrants that I've had the honor of serving with in Bosnia, Iraq, Egypt, and here at home. You honor this great country with your courage and your selfless service, and I will never forget you for doing that. My other family consists of my patient wife of 43 years, my son and daughter, my grandchildren, my brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, aunts and uncles and in-laws that have provided so much support and encouragement throughout the years. Now, I come from a large family, uh, six brothers and four sisters, with a proud military tradition. <coughs> my dad served in the Navy during World War II, and my mom was in civil service at military posts from as long as I can remember from my earliest memories of her. And my brothers R.L. and Randy served in the Army. My brothers Ronnie and Roland served in the Navy. My sister Rosalie's husband, Larry, served in the Air Force <coughs> during Vietnam. And my, my sister's Roberta, sister Roberta's husband, Robert, served in the Army during Vietnam as well. My wife's dad uh, also served in the Army. And my son, Jeremy, served with me for a while in the California National Guard before going active duty with the uh, 3rd Infantry Division. My niece-in-law, Nadine, is, uh, Barkman is still in act on active duty. And I apologize for the many others that I've probably failed to mention. I'm glad I was able to serve with uh, service well over these past 27 years with the support of both my families. The strength of a family should never go underappreciated. <coughs> My family was there to see me off for multiple deployments, and they kept in touch with email and phone calls and care packages and Skype every time. That meant a lot. I want to thank every, everyone here for showing up today. I am particularly happy that uh, my grandson Vincent was able to be here for the ceremony. He has been through all of my deployments from Bosnia to Iraq twice, and he was there at Fort Ruck Rucker to pin me when I graduated from Warrant Officer Candidate School. He's grown into a special young man. Uh, my ser serious thanks, of course, go to my wife, Anne. As you know, it was not easy for her to, to make it up on stage today, but she, she took that extra effort. She's special for that. She and I began dating in high school and have been together ever since. And we have a common phrase we use between us. That phrase is faith, not fear. We try to live that by live that phrase, meaning we should not fear what the world throws at us. Rather, we should have faith in God to make things right. <clears throat> Thank you, Anne, for being my wife and friend these many years. Uh, God willing, we will have many more years together and now with one more weekend at home alone. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, thanks uh, for all of you for being here at the ceremony. Uh, God bless both my families. God bless Texas, and God bless America.